previously on Let's Share Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. And now, back to sharing the despair. tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her be for now. It's like you said, I should just leave her alone for now. Oh, Jesus Christ! Another hammer. Now it's just as hammer four. It's even bigger than before. That's a suspicious individual responsible for killing Jack and Sue. However, but why is it just as him for? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. So I was attacked with Justice Hammer 1, then he threw me with me with Justice Hammer 2. But this time it was Justice Hammer 4. What happened to number 3? Ah, uh, she doesn't know. She doesn't know, does she? What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Out with it, do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one who's been killed. Ifumi's dead too! What? Hey! Ifumi's been killed? Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we better go check it out. Damn. Of course. Come on. So Sakura, Byakuya, and I rushed out of the physics lab. But as soon as we went out of the physics lab, oh. it's Celeste time. <sighs> Celeste, are you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? <laughs> Something has come up. <laughs> yeah, I heard. Fumi's dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? <laughs> oh, we got a Gamzy on our hands! <laughs> Fumi's body has disappeared. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. How could you lose something that big? Come on, are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Hey! Everyone, back to the nurse's office. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Fumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just... disappeared? Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. But we were only gone for like a minute. And then when we got back... Indeed. This must be the work of the cultist. 
They must have come and carried the body away. They must be really enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, frightened and confused. Oh, we are all going to die here. We are going to die, die just like those guys died. What, what did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken? This is unnatural. Who's guarding the other body? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Asleep? Huh? Hold on! What do you mean, two murders? Gina. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It can't be! Taka, too? It can't be! It can't be! No! No! Hina! Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die! All of us! They're gonna kill all of us! <laughs> then who might the next target be, Toko? Huh? What? I completely forget. She's still unconscious in the in the equipment room. Well, you left her at the scene of the crime. We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she is still unconscious? Damn. Wait. So you knew she was still up there. Said nothing? Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. You'd be better off without it. Don't throw that water. <laughs> no, I, you can trust me! Bastard! You bastard! <laughs> Calm down. You forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone, stop fighting! Right now, we need to hurry back! Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. Yakuya, if something happened to Togo, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> you know, we shot out of the nurse's office and bolted up to the stairs. Well, bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. We got there. Taco is still there. Thank God you're okay. But right away I noticed. Don't turn your back on the body. Oh, could you only make the same mistake like three times? There was something very different here. It was gone. Taco's body, which should have been right there. This is this can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before. And what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. Huh? What? Are you saying Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. He didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? We know there's been murders, so why are you hiding the bodies? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Okay. Anyway, our costume uh, suspect. Our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. Huh? We gotta hurry and catch him! We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us! That's not allowed, Hina. Not possible. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well... Um... Hmm. When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split into two groups. Hm. And now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Kifumi were attacked. 
There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm. Hmm. You seem very ad adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are in love. It's not like I'm jealous or anything. <laughs> not, not that you ever consider the possibility. That's not it. At all. That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicious individual we are looking for can be none other than Hiro. Hmm. Which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule is in place, there will not be a third murder. If they were to break that rule... I'd mince ya. Mince ya without a second thought. Mince ya trying to turn it into paste. By the way, did you know that fish paste... This place can also refer to shellfish, like shrimp or crab. <laughs> Let's see. So, since two people have been killed, which is to keep emphasizing that there are two murders this time, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Biakia? Which means you knew Taka would never be in danger. I still meant it when we said when I said we'd be better off without her though. In other words. Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two people have been killed and their bodies have been hidden. The one with that malibu, the only one who could have done it, is Hero. But is he really the killer? What about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? What? Hey, Makoto, what's the matter? She was hidden with the Huh? Oh no, it's nothing. Hmm. Whatever. We need to find those bodies, or our little narrative here can't move forward. So then... Very well. Then let us split, split up and begin searching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> There is no need to be afraid. No more murders will ha will take pr place during this case. Cause I mean, I know that. I mean, I think I do, but Hina. If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Okay. Thank you. Hmm. No need to thank me. <laughs> then let's get moving. Yell out if you find anything. Diakia left the equipment equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies, because there's two of them. Two bodies in this case. In case of two murders. Um, so where could the bodies be? They're in the rec room. Yeah, they're in the rec room. No, nope, they're not in the rec room. That's still the rec room. They're not in the classroom, are they? The way this works so far is that like you, you enter a certain number of rooms and then you hear a scream. Yeah. It's kind of the pattern that's going on. It's not in this one. It's probably not in the other classroom. Uh Just like that. Makoto! Come on! Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean... Indeed. I found them. Yifumi and Taka's... Oh shit, that's the wrong voice. Yifumi and Taka's bodies have both been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. How did you two find it so quick? Their bodies were in the repository? I don't even know where that is. Uh. You ever just start, start bobbing your head to the music and not realizing that's yeah. happening? Yeah. Yeah. That's a side effect of rhythm games and also what is enjoying music. Yeah. I'm a little bit nervous to go in! 
of the body is here somewhere? Up ahead is the Mikaz's turn. Your knob turn. I guess it's unlocked. And I have no choice but to go inside. So I open the door. And when I enter, I saw... They're in here. <laughs> the two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. When I saw before my eyes what is unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. <laughs> <laughs> a body has been discovered after a certain amount of time which you may use however you like the class trial will begin hmm. and so here we are it's the monocuma file without further ado let me give you all the next monocuma file <laughs> I was I was going to hand them out oh, when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. What? It was really hard to read this, but it turned out I was right. Stop talking. Just hand it over already. Punishment is now waiting sure for you. Now make sure all of your mental might and prepare for the class trial. See ya later! Okay, see ya later. Hmm. Well then, now that we found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. Hold on! How can you be so... so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know? That's terrible! Dead! Gone forever! They're never coming back! <laughs> awful! This is all just too awful! Hina suddenly burst into tears. Me too, Hina! Oh, I forgot to. <laughs> Who would do this? Why? Why? Large wet te tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Yufumi's cheeks. If if this were some world of make believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. No, it's a game. This wasn't... He's alive again? <laughs> How did this happen? Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember... everything... before... I met you... all... I met... you all... Hmm. His... his... that's what it was. Yeah. His, was. his uh. memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. Oh, the light... it's... No. Reaching out to me. No! Like the tail of a comet. Mm, hey, Yifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. Hero. eyes closed and they never opened again ah! 
death for the second time. Absolute undeniable death. No matter how many more of tears that he has, tears splashed his face. There was no second miracle. Reality set in again. Hmm. This isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly, you have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins, no calcium in your bones. Well, at least you have no meat. Stop talking. He was angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has been exceedingly boring. It has become extremely boring now. Huh. He said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps Yasuhiro Hagakure. That is the only person he could have been referring to. So in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people, and even killing the target of and then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden cameras. Is that what hero is? What is this? Oh, I know which... I know where the hammers are coming from! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just noticed. If it's true, I can't forgive him! No way can I ever forgive him! To kill two of our friends! That's fine. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although, this time, it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it! And we'll do it... Not... Next time! Not.